Okay, this one is quite simple. So they say three consecutive terms of the GP. So they ask you to find the value of K. Since I know it's GP, we, we're using the formula second term divided by first term equals to the third term divided by the second term, isn't it? So therefore, therefore, this is my T1, first term, T2, T3. So therefore, I just form the equation 3K plus 4 over 2K equals to 6K plus 8 over 3K plus 4. Yeah, a lot of students, when they see this kind of equation, they will straight away uh, cross over multiply. But I try to see whether you can simplify or not. So basically, the top here, I can factorize out the 2. It becomes 3K plus 4. So 3K plus 4 and 3K plus 4, I can cut. Then it left a 2. So 3k plus 4 equals to 4k. Then k equals to 4. Alright, always use the easiest one way to actually solve this kind of question. Alright, then we go to the recurring decimal here. Number 3 here. So recurring decimal over here, the first term is 0 0.09. The r is use the second term. Divide by the first term. Yeah, because add 2, 0, right? So r should be 0 0.01. Then we can form the fraction easily by using the sum to infinity formula. Sum to infinity a over 1 minus r. a will be 0 0.09. r 1 minus 0 0.01, you get 0 0.99. Then you simplify it by times 100 for both. 9 over 99. I want to get something like 3 over k. Then I divide 3 for both, so I get 3 over 33. So my k equals to? 33. Okay, for recurring decimal, what I will always do is I will type in the calculator after I got my answer. That's mean 3 over 33, then I change it into a decimal. So the calculator actually will get me the correct answer. So I always check my answer whether correct or not. This is something very good in for recurring decimal. You can always check your answer, see whether it is correct or not.